Several businesses were forced to close their doors due to power outages. And while California was able to avoid rotating outages, thousands of customers were still left without power. Many of those outages were described as heat related, meaning the hot temperatures damaged the equipment. Another alert is being issued for today and California is urging residents to conserve energy in order to reduce power outages. And an inferno raging in California has turned deadly as the West Coast enters its seventh straight day of record-breaking extreme heat, reaching well into the triple digits in most places. This as a massive plume of moisture has more than 50 million people facing flood threats across the Northeast. Chris Wynn has more from Los Angeles. This building was no match for relentless rains that have saturated Rhode Island, giving way as roads turn to rivers across the state. I can't believe it, man, just gone. In Indiana, devastation is being revealed by receding floodwaters that turn deadly. The family of a woman trapped in her house, killed by rising waters, says they've lost everything. Seeing what I've seen has just been etched in my mind. It's, you know, you see your family member laying there in that kind of shape. In Southern California, aerial images are revealing massive swaths of scorched homes and scorched earth, the flames of a fast-moving wildfire turning deadly. That fire burned rapidly through Avery Canyon, um, injuring one civilian and unfortunately taking the lives of two additional civilians in that canyon. As some Californians flee flames. Outside about 110, inside it feels like what? 120 even more. In the northern part of the state, people without power are sleeping outside in tents as they find ways to cope with a severe and oppressive heat wave. People are always like, hey, you camping in your backyard? You must really like nature. No, bro, we don't got air conditioning. It's so hot. In Los Angeles, I'm Chris Wynn. Thank you, Chris. And on to what's going on outside right now. Let's take a look at what's happening. Everything pretty much still looks the same. That beautiful view outside, that wind is just blowing and that you can see the flag just swaying in the wind. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's, what it feels like outside right now. Right now it feels like it's 95 degrees, but it's actually 85 with 14 miles per hour wind speed and 75% of humidity. And let's go ahead and take a look at our excessive heat warning up until 8 p.m. today. All the areas shaded in pink are under an excessive heat warning, so just be on the lookout for that, everyone. And on to our afternoon temperatures, everything's going to be in the triple digits, starting off with Yuma at 105, Summerton 105, San Luis at 104. And that wraps up our weather for today. Now, sports. Well, looking to make it three in a row. Last season, the Arizona Western men's soccer team won their first 17 games to start the year. But this year, the Matadors entered the season ranked number 